Hello everyone! Do you know the difference between stop to do and stop doing? Stop can be followed by an ing or a full infinitive verb. This is called a verb pattern. Which form is chosen depends on the speaker's meaning. When stop is followed by an ing verb, it is the activity in the ing verb which is stopped. For example, he has finally stopped smoking. You won't see him doing it anymore. He has finally stopped smoking. You won't see him doing it anymore. After about an hour, they stopped playing football and rested. After about an hour, they stopped playing football and rested. She stopped making that mistake now and her language is much better. She stopped making that mistake now and her language is much better. When a stop is followed by a full infinitive verb, it is another action which stops. The action in the full infinitive is the reason why. So let's see some examples. I was watching TV but I stopped to do some homework. I was watching TV but I stopped to do some homework. After about an hour of playing football, they stopped to rest. After about an hour of playing football, they stopped to rest. I had to stop to change a tire. One of mine had been punctured. I had to stop to change a tire. One of mine had been punctured. Excellent! Right now, a sentence with stop to do or stop doing on the comment section below and improve your English. If you like our video, subscribe in our Melhore Seu Inglês, improve your English channel and follow us on Instagram, Facebook and look for our podcast, Melhore Seu Inglês, improve your English podcast. For Skype or WhatsApp, English classes, focus on conversation, customize it for all levels and with affordable prices, just contact us and schedule a free trial class. Keep studying English and see you next class!